Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Senior Cross Nation. Today is a pretty important day because of the fact, well, obviously we have the new stained glass medals come out in Global. Now, I know a lot of people were like going over excited about that. The fact that like, oh, hey, we have the, we got the power in reverse, the power upright and power reverse uh, stained glass medals before JP. Truthfully, it's honestly not a big deal because of the fact that they're more or less uh, realistically about to get them fairly soon anyways so it's honestly not really much of a victory or anything from this point onwards because of the fact that we are caught up with each other i honestly would have no doubt in my mind if we uh if it basically ends up being that like sure one of us may get like so and so metal first uh before the other but like because of the fact we're caught up with each other it's it's not a big deal since we're basically gonna get the same medals within the same amount of reasonable time anyways J just for example for all we know uh they can very easily start getting their speed reverse and speed upright stained glass medals before we do so it's like it's it's honestly not a big deal they'll get it before us then we'll get the the speed versions and then they'll get the power versions it's honestly it's not honestly not a big deal for those of you who don't know okay just a quick recap before i cover the rest of this video and i know you guys have so many questions because i had so many questions and i oh my god jesus christ they they literally they complicate things quite a bit when it comes to like are they actually the new meta do they replace Kyrie and shiro ex which one should i pull for the most first uh just just common questions like this and i'll be addressing all of these so here's stained glass number one they deal six hits for one turn they raise your general strength and upright strength and magic strength by seven so they completely cap out all your strengths they lower the target's defense by four, magic defense by seven, okay? Um, and they raise the special attack bonus, your guilt, by 40%, and inflicts more damage to lower the slot number. They are also a tier eight metal, cost two gauges, and are AoE. And just keep in mind that every single stained glass metal uh, affects its own respective attribute. So the magic upright version of the stained glass is gonna affect other magic upright metals okay same thing with like magic reverse it's gonna affect magic reverse metals power reverse is gonna affect power reverse power upright it's gonna affect power upright and same thing with the speed metals okay when they whenever we happen to get them this is huge <laughs> because not only are they pretty much capping out all of our buffs for us in one metal like legitimately capping out all our buffs this time too unlike Kyrie ex and shioni ex who they max out our psm strength uh, almost max out our our general strength but they only provide a plus to upright or reverse strength buff okay these metals these stained glass metals actually fully cap out all of your buffs okay and that is by far going to be one of the biggest things that that drive these metals uh one thing that's also worth noting about these two is the fact that they also provide one more general defense debuff compared to kyren shioni x uh kyren shioni x only provide three uh general defense down debuffs whereas all the stained glass metals provide four general defense uh general defense down uh debuffs so that's going to be one of the biggest factors. They also completely max out the, the debuff cast for the respective attribute as well. Whereas uh, Kyrie and Shionex don't do that. They only do minus four for PSM. These are by far going to be some of the best metals in the game. Uh, in terms of buffer debuffers for at least as of right now. Uh, for, for quite a while or at least what we would we would hope is quite a while i know a lot of people are are going nuts over the plus 40 percent uh guilt bonus that they provide too but realistically it's not that big a deal the best way to think about it is just is that it's more of a icing on the cake than anything else career because realistically all guilt is is just damage that's it it's not a buff it's just damage all right, that's kind of why the Wayfinder Trio medals uh, didn't really last for so long because they're basically just over glorified damage medals. All guilt is is extra damage. That all that's all it is. The only difference between a tier three and a tier five medal is that 50% uh, damage difference. But yeah, just like I was saying, every single one of the stained glass medals, uh, just like we see right here, these four, uh, they all do the exact same thing just for their own respective attribute. This ends up begging the question because they're just so darn good. And I, I've been getting asked this quite a lot, and I know I've seen other people talking about it too, and like just not really sure about what's going on. Do the stained glass medals replace Kyrie and Shioni X? I would say yes. 
They do. Sort of. They don't fully replace them, okay? Which is kind of where uh, the line gets drawn when it comes to these metals. Because like I said before, they just completely outdo uh, Chiron Shiono Shioni X uh, in a very in a lot of areas, especially when it comes to buffs and debuffs. Okay, they pretty much just completely beat them. The main difference between Kyrie and Shioni X with the stained glass metals, though, are some very minuscule stuff, but that could potentially be a thing. These stained glass metals do not provide any SP refilling gauges or SP gauge refilling, whatever you want to call it. Okay, they don't provide any of that, and they do cost two cages. So. That means that like you would still need to be at least somewhat aware of the number of gauges that you have on your keyblades and whatnot. Okay. Now this shouldn't be nearly as much of an issue uh, for most keyblades. Although the keyblades that I would say that you would need to worry about the most when it comes to gauges are going to be the reverse are going to be the reverse keyblades such as Dark Gnaw, Diamond Dust, and Missing Eight. Because solely because of the fact that they only have like nine or ten gauges at a uh, base, so like gauges is actually pretty important. However, even though sta after stating that, uh, that can also not really be much of a problem too. Because realistically, when you think about it, uh, gauges ends up not really being too much of a thing in normal uh, quests and events and whatnot. Because normally, when you kill an enemy, you get two gauges back anyways from uh, the drop, like as like the drop loot when you defeat an enemy. Okay, and the the stained glass meadows they cost two gauges, so to use two gauges to kill an enemy who gives you back two gauges uh most of the time that's that's basically what's going to be what's happening and it's not going to be too much of a hassle if you've been using your skills correctly gauges aren't really much of a much of a thing because chances are you'll be putting your like attack boost five max and gauge zero medals or just any of your cost reduction uh attack boost max skills on your damage metals anyways so even even though this one doesn't refill any gauges like Kyrian Shion EX does um if you've been using your skills properly assuming you've been playing the game for a while too I should I should probably add obviously beginners uh and whatnot are not going to have those skills so like this this part of what I'm saying doesn't apply to you but for, in terms of like meta setups and whatnot you should have been applying these like super uh strong cost reduction attack boost max skills on your metals on your attack metals and whatnot anyways okay which severely reduced the amount of uh sp gauges that you have to worry about the other thing that these metals do not do is that they do not add any amount of counters to an opponent at all whatsoever like Kyrie and shioni x do they straight up just do damage all the stained glass metals do six hits so that means that depending on the enemy that could end up hurting you a little bit it's also worth noting that they do not heal your hp either now realistically that's probably not gonna be much of a problem to be honest because of the fact that uh, if you're using these metals in the first place uh chances are you're gonna pretty much one shot anything <laughs> that you that you uh that you come across anyways so you're not gonna be hurt in the first place to really have to worry about healing yourself um however if you do ha end up taking damage whatsoever for whatever reason um chances are you're gonna be one hit ko'd anyways so like healing doesn't matter because even if you come back to life with second chance and you have that one hp you're just gonna be one hit anyways next time you get hit um, even at full HP, so it doesn't really matter if you're able to heal yourself or not. The only time that healing actually matters is when you're using turtle setups, uh, prim primarily because of the fact you're trying to take as least damage as possible, and you're, and you're trying to survive and drag out the fight as long as possible. That's when healing becomes relevant. Um, otherwise, uh, it's not really a big deal that these don't have healing. The, now, there's something I want to quickly point out before I go over to the next question, is basically that uh, one of the main primary reasons why these metals can are kind of uh replacing Kyrie and Shioni X is primarily because of the fact that they completely max out your upright or reverse uh strength buffs that is one of the main reasons as to why they are basically kind of replacing them and I say kind of because like uh like I said they're like drawing the line here um, where like you, they still pair up well with Kyron Shioni X, but depending on your setup and what medals you have, they may or may not be necessary. Uh, so it's just one of those things. One thing that I also forgot to mention too about these medals that actually make them just significantly better than Kyron Shioni X as well is the fact that they do have 
a much more, like, an exponentially bigger total max multiplier compared to Kyrian Shoney X. Kyrian Shoney X actually has some of the lowest, lowest multipliers in the entire game. Now that we have the stained glass medals, who are basically Kyrian Shoney EX, um, maybe with just slight differences, but for the most part, just better versions of them, with a much like higher multiplier too. At base, these are still damage medals. They can still be used as damage medals if you really wanted to. Like if you choose to use it in your pet slot for God knows what reason, uh, it's still going to do a lot of damage. Realistically, you want it more towards the front of your Keyblade so you can go more towards the more of the maximum potential amount of damage, uh, but they can still be used as damage medals too, which is absolutely ridiculous. All right, so now I'm going to give you guys some general advice as to which of the stained glass metals uh, you should probably try pulling for. Um, just keep in mind, this is going to actually be part of like a two-part video. This is the first video. Um, and in my second video, I'll actually be releasing some more information uh, of based on some like uh, data crunching uh, that I did to try to like figure this out. Um, to help supplement like your guys decisions on like what to pull from and whatnot that can be pretty extensive but because of like the sheer amount of like stuff that I have to explain I need to put it in a second video but at the very least I'm gonna at least give you guys some generic advice to help you guys along the way until that video comes out so uh, there's two main things that I suggest that you keep in mind when it comes to deciding which of the stained glass metals you want to pull for and when I say these stained glass, I'm also including the future uh, speed uh, stained glass metals. I'll, we'll be getting sometime soon too. I'm, I'm I'm talking about all six in general. Okay, and there's realistically two things that you want to keep in mind. The first thing that you want to think about when you are trying to figure out which one of these to pull for, ask yourself this question: Out of all the Keyblades in the game, okay, which ones are you most likely going to use? Um, and are using right now if for example like you are still going along the story and you haven't unlocked uh, The Fenrir yet just yet, but but you use the treasure trove a lot And you know, you're just gonna naturally want to use the Fenrir a lot too in response once you get it uh, maybe you want to start going for the uh, Stained glass number three metal instead. I mean because it naturally supports the power upright type strategies, okay? The second thing you want to ask yourself uh, before you start uh, going out and getting these medals is uh, whether or not you have any medals in the game that you possess uh, that are able to inflict any of the upright and reverse debuffs, okay? So these would be medals, uh, for example, such as uh, Sephiroth EX+, Plus, Kingdom Hearts 2 Cloud EX+, Plus, uh, the uh, Illustrated Kingdom Hearts uh, Riku EX, um, even HT Zack if you really wanted to for speed setups. Uh, we, we just recently got Key Art 16 EX Plus as well. If you have like any of these type of medals that debuff the opponent's uh, upright or reverse defense, try to pick stained glass medals to go after that go along with those type of medals. Because realistically, when it comes to you using these stained glass metals, um, they're pretty much doing all of the buffs and debuffs for you, okay? Quite quite literally. And so the only thing, and if you decide to pair them up with your Kyrie or Shion EX as well, you're going to have all of your buffs uh, and debuffs uh, already done for you. The only thing that's not going to be done for you are those upright and reverse debuffs, okay? So making sure that you pick stained glass medals that go along with the medals that you currently have that provide those debuffs is going to be your best bet. So remember, before you start going and pulling for these stained glass medals, uh, make sure to keep in mind two things, okay? One, which of your Keyblades do you actually end up using the most? And two, uh, do you have any medals that provide a upright or reverse de uh, defense debuff uh, on them to help go along with those Keyblades uh, and then try to figure out well, which of the stained glass medals will actually go along with both of those uh, questions, okay? Other than that, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. It is the best way to know when I upload a new video. Uh, I'm going to be having another video tomorrow discussing the new PvP uh, information that we got released as well. Um, I made it in advance, but I haven't gotten to edit it yet. Other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Senior Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.